Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so as you guys may have seen in the title, today we're going over to Matt's place. Do a little bit of an update, gonna mow it with the rover, which I got back just recently from the guys at All Mow Spares who fixed it up, fixed up the clutch for me. The guys are legends, had the stuff for the clutch here, but I just didn't get it fixed myself. <laughs> so they fixed it for me. <laughs> Gave it a grind, this thing is cutting so crisp now. Um, and they also sent me another mower to test out. So I'm gonna show you guys that very, very soon. Might show you a little sneak peek at the end of this video. I'm gonna be using it on the green and eventually on Matt's kike as well, once we get a little bit more established. But today, not gonna do anything this lawn. This lawn's not really growing, because I got PGR down, which is awesome. Love it, love PGR, man. Good stuff, I'll do a video on that stuff soon as well. So yeah, let's get this rover. Let's take it over Matt's place. Today we're gonna give it a mow. And we'll talk about it once we get over there anyway. So let's go. Man, that was noisy bringing it across the road. Right, so Matt's lawn is looking pretty good after that scarify we did. I don't even know how many weeks ago it was, five, six weeks ago. Um, it's still got a couple of little thin patches here and there, um, but they will start to fill in once we start doing more and more regular mowing. Start putting some more ferts towards it and pushing it along. You can see there's like a little bit of this um, seed head popping out just here all over the place, just because the transition in the growing season basically, which is why there's so much of that seed head up. Kaiki just looks, looks weird, man. Like you mow it next day, it spreads that white stuff. It's weird stuff, man. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna mow this today. We we'll talk about future plans for this place, but we've got it at 10 mil today. So let's just check and see what height it's at and see how much of this grass we're cutting off. So this is probably the thickest patch just here. We might have got a little bit of extra fertilizer here by accident. Matt said he mowed it last week and it's at 20 mil. So we're gonna cut a little bit off down at 10 mil, but it's okay. Like it was cylinder mowers, you can sort of get away with cutting a little bit more than a third of the leaf over. Wouldn't recommend doing it all the time, but it's gonna work for today and I'll keep the regular mowing up on this area here. Get some plant growth regulator out soon. Top just a few of the bare spots. Just have some fun with it, you know, but let's start this mower up. So keen to use this rover. I miss that bad boy. Such a good mower. Um, and might give a triple, quadruple cut at 10 mil, and let's just see how it turns out. over the weekend it gets to 34 which is pretty hot for orange <laughs> anyway that looks pretty good really actually stoked with how that turned up from double cut gonna leave it a double cut because i got like nothing off the second cut so that is gonna be fine but man have a look at that schmick so there's a couple of holes to fill in which again i said if you've got this in your lawn top dress those areas so it gives the car cue somewhere to creep into um and then we're gonna start fertilizing it too then getting the pgr on it soon but Mate, I'll tell you what, for Kaikou this time of year, because even around the street, it's still a little bit dormant and off, as you can see, across the road a little bit. Orange is just so far behind with, like, warm temps. The temps are only really, really starting to kick up now. Um, but yeah, let's fertilise this. Alright, so today we're just using the old Solo 475 Comfort Sprayer, because it's only a small area, and I might not have charged the battery on my battery one yet again. But I'm still going to put my two nozzle boom on there because I'm 
laser. But anyway, today we're going to be putting out some special effects because of the 15% nitrogen there. So we're going to give that a bit of a boost over there. And because it'll give us some nice colour as well with that iron. 6% iron and 2% manganese on top of that. And then we're going to go just with some good old seaweed secrets. Just to help out with the roots. Why not? I always chuck in a bit of um, seaweed or kelp in with my liquid fert applications anyway. It's just the way I roll with it. But yeah, this stuff here, put it out at 200 mil per 100 square metres. So that's only 100 square metres over there. So. 200 ml of this today, and then 100 ml of this stuff. And I'm only gonna put it in four liters of water because the pace I walk with these things, I get out four liters of water, like basically perfectly over 100 square meters, and that's going over in two directions as well. So let's mix it up. Ooh. Last night, you caught my eye. So fly, oh my, oh my. I've been thinking about you all night I can't get you off my mind I'm out from the water Tell you what, that was bang on the perfect amount oh, I actually put about four and a half litres in for that 100 square metres because I just wanted to make sure, which I'm glad I did oh, But yeah, that is pretty much it I'll keep you guys updated with this lawn Show you guys how it looks next week after this um, fertiliser application a bit of um, kelp and we've got some hot temps coming over the next few days for this lawn He's going to love it. Ryegrass won't love it as much because it's a cool season grass, but this kaikia, which is warm season grass, and my green as well, um, which is cooch, tiff tough, is going to go up bananas. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do you guys have a good weeksy? I almost forgot about the sneak peek, but here is the mower. So, this is like an old super cut. I'm pretty sure some of you using this on the green. Sorry if it's echoey in here. I need to get this mower out of here and put it in the shed so I can put my ute back in here, but yeah. Keen to test this out. I've given a quick go on the green. And it seems pretty good. The catcher is massive on it though, so I'll have to see what I think about that after a bit. But they sent me a groomer. It's in here. And a scarify, a little reel as well, so I'll show you guys how this thing goes. But anyway, please.